Joe in Chicago writes to me, says, I've seen quite a number of YouTube videos that present loudspeaker demonstrations. While I get the point of a visual presentation to show what a loudspeaker looks like, I totally don't understand or see the value in recording the sound of a speaker system using a smartphone and thinking the viewer or the listener will be able to experience what it actually sounds like. I'm even more perplexed when I read viewer comments that say things like, well, speaker X sure sounds better than speaker Y when two systems are being compared. What am I missing here? <laughs> I wish I could tell you, Joe. You know, I get people all the time at PS Audio. Paul, go upstairs, put on a pair of FR20s, play a track, then switch out to the FR30s and play a track and let us hear the difference. I, you know, I'm tempted to do it because I get so many requests for it on the one hand. On the other hand, I think it's nuts. Unless you're right here, I don't think you can hear the difference. They are tonally almost identical. Here's, here's a 20 and here's a 30. Between these two, tonally, they're about the same. I mean, if you look at their graphs, I mean, if I were to close my eyes and not know whether there was an FR20 or an FR30 loudspeaker we were listening to, I don't know that I could tell the difference. And I can tell the difference blindfolded about a whole bunch of things. I can tell if somebody's put in a different cable. I walk into the room, half the, we got a bunch of engineers running around here that sometimes violates Paul's cardinal rule around here. Do not mess up the sound system. And if you do, put it back. It's like, ha! my dad used to get on my case all the time, and I'm sure I did with my boys as well. It's like, if you're going to take tools out, just put them back. How, how hard is that? Apparently, it was really hard because I never did it, and I don't know why I would expect my children to do it, or why would I expect anyone to listen to me whatsoever, <laughs> and they don't. But I can walk into the music room, turn it on on a track that I know really well, like, all right, What's changed? Come on, I can hear it. This is bright and harsh. This is like, this is different. And I'll start poking around. Ah, the cable changed. <clears throat> Change the cable back. Life's good. I hear that all the time. These speakers, these speakers are pretty darn close. I, I mean, their differences aren't even that big. A lot of it depends on the room, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't see a whole lot of value in just putting on, I mean, you're listening, well, you're listening to my little microphone, but if we are listening to the one inside of the iPhone that I'm photographing this on, I don't know how much difference you would hear. And if you did hear a difference, what value would it be? You can't hear the difference in the imaging and any of that stuff. So I don't get it either, Joe. Wish I had a better answer. All right, thanks.